Good morning. Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady and I'm Brian Sanders. Here are your top stories for Thursday. The state's education board will talk about the future of the Adams 14 school district. The district is on a tight deadline to submit a plan for how it can turn around years of poor performance. Anything from district reorganization to closing Adams City High School is on the table if the board rejects the plan. The Wheat Ridge police officer who was stabbed yesterday morning is recovering in the hospital. We brought you this as breaking news. The department identified him as Officer Alan Fisher, a nearly 20 year veteran of the force. He was responding to a report of a suspicious U-Haul at the Prospect RV Park when a man inside the truck stabbed him. Another officer was able to take the suspect into custody and provide medical care until paramedics arrived. The 29 year old suspect will face charges of attempted murder and first degree assault. It's been a long time coming, but the groundbreaking for the 16th Street Mall renovation is today. The initial infrastructure of the mall was only intended to last 30 years. It's now been 40, so big changes are coming from Market Street to Broadway with the goal to improve safety, mobility, and improve the overall look of the mall. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. It's going to be a warmer, but again, windy day today. As you're stepping out the door early this morning, you're going to find it. temperatures mainly in the 20s. Pretty clear skies. Skies clearing out after we picked up a few, very few light snow showers yesterday. As far as temperatures go, it's going to be quite a bit warmer. Low to mid 50s by noon. We'll be closer to 60 this afternoon. Denver right around 58 to near 60. Same thing near Highlands Ranch. More 30s than 20s in the mountains this afternoon. So a decent warm up in store. Unfortunately, it it is going to be windy again, gusts upwards of around 40 to near 50 miles per hour. So fire danger does remain pretty high across most of eastern Colorado. It will be calmer and warmer this weekend.